Hey investor and welcome back to Fiscal Voyage. My name is Felix and today's video we're going to talk about a dividend growth stock that's undervalued with a yield over 5% and is very attractive. This dividend growth stock is right at support uh, based on the charts and it looks to go higher uh, with earnings growing higher as well. So we're going to cover this stock, look at the, the charts and look at fundamentals, earnings and uh, free cash flow and dividends and PE and stuff like that. Uh, so if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, let's get started right, so here's the adv uh, stock chart for the company over here we have the monthly chart and over here the weekly chart over here the daily chart and here the hourly chart and you can see here um the company adv gap down on uh, the 17, you can see here it was at uh, $110.84, then it gapped down uh, to $104, $104, and it went down as much as $102.80. So what happened? What you know, the company dropped because of something with the FDA, um, you know, uh, delaying or um, stopping some drugs. But the chart here tells us that Avi. That $100 range is very, very important. It's support. You can see here, it got to that range over here, over here, and then it bounced, over here, then it bounced, and then over here, it's holding it steadily. So actually, if it goes under $100, I can see this stock going down to uh, $98 or all the way down to, uh, let's see if we see here, maybe over here, all the way down to the next pivot will be around $95, $97. Um, so that's a possibility, but at $100, it does look very attractive for a long-term long -term play because of the huge dividend uh, yield it currently has. And you can see here on the monthly chart, um, it's consolidating here very nicely. And as you can see here with this pullback over here at $100, this is the support. So to me, anything over $100 right now is a great buying opportunity for Advi for the long term and you can see here the long term has been going on the uptrend on the weekly chart so let's look at the fast graph and go more in detail of the earnings so we have here the price uh, the charts and now let's look at earnings because price follows earnings so you see here we have the fast graph for Advi Inc you can see here earnings been growing tremendously throughout the years uh, in 2013 they were down 6% but in 2014 2015 up 30% you can see here 41% in 2018. Uh, last year with the COVID and the pandemic and the shutdown and all that stuff, uh, it was up 18%. That's outstanding considering the kind of year most company had uh, for 2020. And this year they're expected to be up 18% in 2022, 11%. So you can see here earnings is growing and going higher and higher. So eventually price follows earnings. Uh, price goes all this as we saw in the chart uh, but earnings, if you find a good high quality company like Advi, earnings stays at a consistent rate of growth. And that growth, eventually the price follows that growth. And you can see here, uh, dividend yield right now is at 5.01%, uh, blended PE at 9.4, when the company uh, history tends to be around the 13 PE. And we have an earnings yield of almost 11%. That's outstanding, guys. I like to see an earnings yield of 7% uh, or so and higher. We have a 10%, almost 11% here with, you know, again, a great dividend yield. It's a triple B plus credit rating company. So it's investment grade. So it's a high quality uh, company. The long-term debt to cap is pretty high, 78%. But overall, uh, solid, solid, solid company. If we look at the free cash flow as well, free cash flow is how a company is able to... Um, pay the dividends, you know, pay off debt, you know, maybe use it for acquisition, for growth and things like that. And you can see here, you have a 5% yield and this free cash flow covers it very nicely. You can see here, uh, free cash flow grew at 17% for 2020 and they're expected to grow at 9% for 2021. So Avi free cash flow covers the dividend, which is outstanding. This is why, you know, these green dots represents the deposit time. I bought shares and you can see here, uh, I have a cost base of $72. And right now, you know, as you see, it's around $104. So I am up very nicely. Uh, I don't plan to put more shares now because I have a very, uh, is a big position in my portfolio. So I don't want to make it any bigger. Um, but 
if you don't have this company in your portfolio, I think now is a great opportunity to do more research on it. Uh, look at the financial uh, statements, the balance sheet, and things like that, and look at um, to see if you want to be a, a shareholder of this. Uh, you know, again, this is one of my biggest positions, and right now I find it to be an attractive price because of the drop it had from around $110 to uh, $104, $103. So it's very attractive price right now. Uh, we look at some of the forecasting for earnings. Let me go here. Um, earnings, you can see here, it's expected to grow around 4% for the next uh, year or two. Um, not sure how they get that because over here we get it at around 18%, 11%. Uh, but never the case, earnings is expected to grow higher. Um, if we revert back to his mean, if we go to normal multiple, and let's do a five-year multiple around 12, where it's still a very attractive PE, you can see here, you can have a potential rate of return of around 34% or 35% in the next few years. Uh, that's, of course, including the dividend uh, and the price appreciation. But overall, Abbey is a very attractive dividend growth stock at an attractive price. Uh, I, I have it as a buy recommendation. Um, I hold it in my portfolio and I think uh, long term you'll be a happy investor. So make sure you do your homework on this stock. Um, so, you know, leave a comment below what you guys think of Avi. Do you own shares of this company? Also, let me know in the comments be uh, below what stock would you like me to evaluate next. Uh, so thank you for watching. Again, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.